What you guys on over there? Now I just see a bunch of papers and bills and pay stubs. You're trying to figure out what? Your DTI? Oh, your debt to income ratio. Don't you, I've heard about that debt to income ratio and I, I don't know what that means. I don't even know how to compute that. I have no idea, but I see that you literally have all your monthly recurring debts, even your mortgage over there. Wow. Hey Ross, well my money makes money. Debt to income ratio, debt to income ratio. What is it? People always ask you what it is or sometime in your life, you have come to like, hey man, what's your, your debt to income ratio is too high, meaning that you have more debt than you get paid, right? That's what people usually talk about. So let me get some paper and pen here, virtual. What is my debt to income ratio? Well, first, I probably need to write up, down all my debt. So let me write down all my debt. I got my auto loans, my student loans, my minimum, my minimal credit card payments, because that's all I really have to pay. Um, my child support and alimony, <laughs> got to pay the other child, you know, got to pay for them. And any other monthly debt obligations that I have. Okay, I have all those down, of course, my mortgage. Now, I need to write down all my monthly income. All my monthly income. So what am I getting? Okay, my wages, anything with a salary, tips and bonuses. You know, I'm a waiter or waitress. Okay, pension, I'm getting retirement, Social Security, if I'm not old. Child support, if I could be so lucky, and then any ad additional income that I may have. So, what am I supposed to do with all that information? So, let me see. Uh, let me divide my total monthly recurring debt by my gross monthly income, then make that a decimal, multiply that by 100 to express my DTI, my debt to income ratio, as a percentage. Hmm. I probably need to make this a little personal. Here's an example. Ross. These are not my actual bills, guys. Example. All right. Ross has these following recurring debts. $1,000 for mortgage, $500 for auto loan, $200 for student loan, $200 for credit card, $400 for other monthly debt obligations. This is too many to name. I'm going to sum them up. Then... Then, right? So that's a total of $2,300. Okay, $2,300 in debt. Now, let's see how much my gross monthly income is. Okay, I get $4,000 salary per month, and then I get $2,000 from my other job. All right. Then, so that's a total of $6,000 of gross monthly income. Okay, then I'm going to calculate that. So I'm going to divide my total my monthly debt, which is 2300 by my gross monthly income, which is $6,000. So when I look at my DTI ratio, I got 2300 divided, I'm sorry, yeah, 2300 divided by 6000 equals 0 0.38 multiplied by 100 so I can express it as a percentage. So 0 0.38 times 100 equals 38%. You get it? So once again, my debt is $2,300 when I add up all my reoccurring debts. Then my gross monthly income was $6,000. I divided the $2,300 by the $6,000, which equal out to 0 0.38 multiplied by 100, 38%. Because I divided it. That's when I got the decimal. Then I multiplied by 100, and then I get the percentage of 38%. Okay, so my debt to income ratio is 38%. And that's it, guys. DTI. It's not a long story. DTI. Take that example, apply it to your debt to income ratio. And if anything, you want your total debt to income ratio, like credit cards, to be to be below 30%. And there's a trillion ways to cut it. Pay off your credit cards, your auto loans, pay down, pay down, pay down your debt. Lower your debt to income ratio, and that will increase your credit score astronomically. This is Ross World. Debt to income ratio. I never knew what it was, but it's been broken down, it's been multiplied and divided. 
I'm out.